What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. Now, we may not be the best, and every play won't be perfect, but I guarantee you we'll have a good time. Smash that like button for us if you're hyped, and I hope you enjoy. What's good, YouTube? Everyone, you two here, back again once again. And to people today, I am your coach of the Tucson Terrakions in the United Championship League, the UCL. We are here for our week number 13. I don't have no fingers. Week number 13, Wi-Fi battle against my very best friend, Game Boy Luke, coach of the Bristol City Blazikins. And it's a very, very terrifying matchup. If you guys missed out on our team preparation video, it did go up last night. So make sure you guys go and check that out to know why we brought what we brought and to understand why Luke's team and his draft is so very, very scary and threatening to us. But if you guys are all hyped for this week's UCL battle, and of course, if you're a prime in the Happy Nation and you're supporting your Tucson Terrakions all the way to the end, make sure you smash that like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Now, there are a lot of threats on Luke's team. He has Dragonite, he has Mega Scizor, which checks our Mega Gardevoir. He's got Azelf, he's got Amblepomp, Typhlosion, Tangela, Kiracosta, Rotom Fan. He's got Suicune, the bulky ass Suicune, Dragonite as well, Thunderous, which tears through our team. So we can only hope for the best. I'm going to click Music 23, and we're going to see what he decided to bring. Please don't bring. Please don't bring. Okay, so he has Azelf. He has Ambipom. He has. <gasps> he has Roserade. I just realized something. He has Hitmontop. He has Hitmontop. He has Scizor. And Dragonite. On our side, we have 30 minutes our Rotom Heat. We have James our Weezing. Cindy our Gastrodon. Titania our Mega Gardevoir. Liability our Crocodile. And Blue Note our Lucario. I don't know if something just happened with my webcam. I just saw something flash at the corner of my eyes. So I hope nothing's going on. Um, but I'm hoping that he will lead with that, with that, with that, with that Ambipom and not the Azelf. He could lead with the Azelf to set up rocks. He could very well lead the Scizor as well or the Hitmontop to be an Intimidator. But we're going to stick with our original plan in case he does lead with the Ambipom. If he leaves with the Hitmontop or the Azelf, it's going to be a problem. But I'm going to stick with our original plan of leading with Blue Note our Lucario, hoping that he leads with the Ambipom and goes for a fake out. If he does, we get the Steadfast boost and then we can Swords Dance up and sweep his entire team. And the two Mons that were scariest to us, Suicune and Tangela, are not here. That's, that's just too great. That's too great. I'm going to jot down the rest of his team on a separate sheet of paper. You guys know I'm... Um, OCD like that. But let's see what he ends up deciding to lead with. Hitmon top. Hitmon lee lee. Scizor, which is his mega. He led with Scizor. Okay. Okay, so that's not terrible. That's not terrible. That's not terrible because there's really not much that Scizor can do to us unless he's rocking like superpower. And if anything, this just might scare him out. Because if we check out Lucario, let me check, let me check, let me check, let me check, let me check. Let me check. Close combat does... Oh, wait, 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 It does like 60%, but that's because we haven't looked at Mega Scizor yet. Okay, so if he's impish, we can do about half. If he's max HP, max defense, for whatever reason... We still do almost half. We have a chance to do 47%. And he can't really do much to us. He can knock off, but he might not want to do that because he might think we have justified. Um, I'm trying to think of all the different moves he could have. Um, bullet Punch is going to be obvious. Bug Bite is going to be obvious. There's really not much this Scizor can do to us. So I think... Ugh, I don't want to like get ahead of myself, but I really just want to click Swords Dance right now. Because I don't think there's much that he could do. I think he might just U-turn out. But with everything else on his team, I could just click Swords Dance. I don't know! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Like, everything is screaming at me to click Swords Dance right now because I can't think of a single thing this uh, Scizor could do to us. Superpower would be the only thing. But would he carry Superpower? Would he carry Superpower? I'm gonna click Swords Dance. He withdrew! He withdrew! That's excellent! That is excellent! That is excellent! 
Okay, so we're gonna get Intimidate Drop, so we're sitting at plus one right now. So the only downside to this is that we don't kill Hitmontop right now. But he does kill us. So we're sitting at plus one right now, we don't have our speed boost either. So our plan kinda sorta worked, but not exactly. So sitting at plus one, I don't think we kill a Hitmontop. I don't think we kill a Hitmontop, because he's just too goddamn bulky. Max HP, max defense, impish. Uh, let me check out, let me check out, let me check out. Uh, we, it, it's literally 85% to 100. It's 85 to 100%. We have a chance to kill, but if he goes for close combat, he kills us. I can't risk Lucario like this because... <sighs> I can't risk Lucario like this because he puts in too much work. Literally, he does. I mean, max damage is 100%, so we would literally have to get the highest of high rolls. I can't risk that. I can't risk that. Not this early in the battle. Because if we can get rid of this Hitmontop and send in Lucario against Scizor again, then... And we get a Swords Dance up, that's it. It's, it's a wrap. The entire game is ours. I don't want really to get ahead of myself, but... I think I'm going to go out to Weezing. It sucks because I want to give up a Swords Dance, but we can't kill this thing, and he just has to click close combat and 100% kill us. I can't risk that. I can't risk that. I can't risk that. I don't want to give up a Swords Dance. I really don't, but I can't risk it. I can't. I'm going to go out to Weezing. Oh, I hate that! Oh, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. That Intimidate Drop is what got us. I'm just happy he didn't bring Suicune or Tangela because that means Lucario can still put in work. Hitmontop gets fake out! Yo, that would have given us the speed boost. Not that it would have mattered because I still wouldn't have killed, but that would have given us the speed boost. If we were in our focus instead, we could have uh, still done that. Yo, that would have... Mm, mm, I'm so mad about that. Okay, so... I'm thinking that he has to go out to either his Azelf or his Roserade right now. Because he has to know that Will-O-Wisp is the thing. And if he stays in and catches the will o -Wisp, that's even better for us because then that means that close combat's not killing Lucario. It's not killing Lucario. Because if you look at... If we look at... Yeah, close combat's not killing. I just changed on the damage count. It's not killing. So, if we can burn this thing, I think will o -Wisp is our best bet because if he goes up to Scissor, Dragonite, unless he's got a special Dragonite, Amber Palm or Azelf, they can all get body. I feel like he's gonna go out to Roserade. I'm gonna click Willow because I would still like to get the damage even on Roserade. The, the residual damage that would still be nice. He went out to Roserade, exactly. So if keyword here is if we can get this Willow. Mm -hmm. ah! Of course he would miss! God damn it! Ugh! Okay, so Roserade can touch us with extra sensory. And that is a problem. This Roserade is honestly a problem for a lot of things. I can't let James go just yet either because he does wall the Amber Palm, the Hitmontop, the Scizor, and the Dragonite. I can't let him go just yet. He serves too much of a purpose. Question now is, who do I go out to? I feel like Titania's our best bet, but if he goes for a Sludge Bomb, Titania's not going to appreciate that. Um, I feel like Rotom... No, we have Rotom! Let's go out to Rotom. Because he's calm-natured. Yeah, he's our special wall. He's calm natured. We can do that. We can take an extra sensory. We can take a leaf storm. We can take a sludge bomb. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's 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 not, that's a good idea. That's a great idea. It's a good idea. Great idea. I do want to check because if he does end up switching, if he does end up switching, I just want to see Giga Drain still. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no! This is not the- no, 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 I'm getting my teams mixed up. Okay, so we're not- uh, They're not Calm Nature, but I still think Rotom is our best switch. I feel like he might try and go for Toxic Spikes. I feel like he might try and go for Toxic Spikes. I know Luke likes to do that. He went for Extra Sensory. Okay. So he revealed that- Hmm, that did so much damage. I feel like he might be Assault Vested. Uh, we are Scarfed, and at this point, he would have to go out to Dragonite. Dragonite's the only thing that could take a hit. Dragonite's literally the only thing that can take a hit. And if he goes out to Dragonite, then I can safely... I can safely... Uh... Urgh! 
still doesn't even have a chance to kill. If he is assault vested, I have to click overheat. Overheat's the safest thing for me to do because even if he goes into Dragonite, that would at least pop the um, multi scale, which is great because then it lets Lucario 100% tear through him. Uh, we can live another hit from him. Just hope he doesn't have some like HP rock. I don't think he's gonna stay in, but still, overheat. I want to get damage off. I don't think he's gonna stay in. I don't think he's gonna stay in. Maybe I should have bolt switched. But if he stays in, thinking that he can, well, knowing he can take a hit, because he can damage Calc just like I can and know that he can take a hit. Because I have this itchy feeling that he's assault bested Roserade. But we'll see. 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 And going out to Gardevoir wouldn't have been the best idea, anyways, because we wouldn't have had the speed boost until we Mega Evolved. And that means the Roserade would have outsped us. So, it's not that good. It's not that good. Because then you could just click Sludge Bomb and we're gone. So he swaps out. Swaps out. Aladdin. <gasps> he went out to his Azelf. Oh my goodness. This thing's gone. That thing's gone. Of course, except for the Sash. But still. That thing is out of here. I'm going to click Overheat again. Because we don't have Rocks up yet. And obviously, as long as I land it, I can kill it. We're Scarfed. <sighs> ah! He might just click Explosion just to kill us, which would really, really suck, because we need this Rotom for Scizor. I shouldn't have clicked that so fast. I shouldn't have clicked that so fast. I shouldn't have clicked that so fast. I should not have clicked that so fast. Oh! I'm pretty sure we outspeed him, since we're Scarfed. And he's Sash, so we know he's not Scarfed. There we go. So down goes the Azelf. So that's one huge threat down and out on, like, turn four. That's amazing. That's one huge offensive presence from his team. Dunzo gone. Only downside is we're at minus four special attack right now, so he could honestly go out to Ambipom, he can go out to Dragonite, he can go out to Scizor. Actually, no, I still don't think he would go out to Scizor. But he can go out to Dragonite and get a free Dragon Dance up if he's not banded. That's the only downside of this situation that we put in an end. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? Okay, so if he gets a free Dragon Dance up. I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go out to James I'm gonna go out to our wheezing because that'll that might scare him out that might scare him out because he doesn't want to get burned let's see here if he is dragon dance oh my god oh my god outrage has a chance to three hit KO if he's choice banded If he's adamant banned, he has a chance to kill. If he's jolly banned, oh my god, even that still kills. He didn't bring Suicune, so Cindy could easily come back out. Um, I think, I think, I think, I think what I'm going to do, I have 30 seconds, I think what I'm going to do, if he's banded, this is going to hurt so bad. And Outrage is going to hurt so, so bad. But if he locks himself in Outrage, I can just go out to Gardevoir. So, somebody's going to have to take a hit right now. That's the downside to it. Um, but Weezing Walls more than Cindy does, I think, right now. So, I'm going to go out to Cindy. So, even if he does Outrage or try to attack us, Rocky Helmet Damage will break his uh, multi-scale. So, let's see what this Dragonite ends up going for. Are you going to Dragon Dance? He did Dragon Dance. So, he's not banded. He's not banded. Which is kind of better. <laughs> kind of better. Okay, I'm just going to click Ice Beam because... Even at plus one... Oh! Plus one has a chance to kill. Oh my god. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's banded. He's not banded. Um, plus one cannot kill, so I'm going to Ice Beam. Or I could just clear Smog and clear his Dragon Dance. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Should I clear Smog and clear his Dragon Dance? Or should I just Ice Beam right away? I kind of want to go for damage and kill him. Because then at that point... He would have to Outrage. This is the only thing that puts me in range of killing me. Is Outrage. So if he locks himself into Outrage... 
then we can just go out to Gardevoir and we're good then. Because Dragon Claw doesn't do enough either. If he carries Dragon Claw instead of... I'm going to click Ice Beam. Clear Smog is like in the back of my head, but I'm going to click Ice Beam. He used Outrage. Okay, so we can go out to Gardevoir after this and stop his Outrage and Mega Evolve. Because we live in that! Oh! Oh, that Rocky Helmet though. I still don't know what item he has just yet. But can we do the damage? Cindy! Oh, we got a free zoo! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Yo, that's incredibly unlucky. I'm so, I feel so, so bad for that. I feel so, so bad for that. I really, really do. That sucks. Frozen or freeze is like the worst status ailment you could ever have. But what I'm gonna do right now, instead of killing this thing, I'm gonna click recover. I'm gonna click recover and we just have to hope and pray he doesn't break out. I'm gonna click recover and hope and pray he doesn't break out. He's frozen solid. Excellent! Excellent! Okay, so that Dragonite has Outrage and Dragon Dance. Woo! He's got leftovers, okay. That really, really sucks. I feel bad about that. I do. I'm gonna click recover again. I'm, I'm gonna click recover again and hope and pray. Hope and pray, hope and pray, hope and pray. But even if he swaps out right now and tries to save the Dragonite, or even if he um, thaws out, he's got to go out to Roserade. He has to go out to Roserade. Yeah. Even if he thaws out, um, that's still within E speed range to kill. So we're good. 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 Okay. So obviously we have to swap. Obviously we have to swap. Because there's no point in us recovering over and over and over again. We're just in that same predicament again where, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I could try and risk it and think he's gonna counter predict and go for an extra sensory, but if we stay in and he kick a drain, Cindy's a bye bye. I mean, the only thing I can do is the same thing that I did before: is go out to Rotom, take the extra sensory, and force him out. That's the only thing I can do at this point, because we're Scarf. Because extra sensory still would be the strongest thing he could do to, to Rotom. I don't know, Sludge Bomb would hurt too. I think a Sludge Bomb would hurt. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. If he reveals anything else on his Rose Raid. He did go for Giga Drain. Okay, so it's a good thing we didn't try that. It's a good thing we didn't try that. I can safely click Overheat again. Actually, I might not want to click Overheat. I might not want to click Overheat, I might want to click Volt Switch. Because he might just go out to his Dragonite to sack it off, to get me to have my special attack lowered. Huh. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna click Volt Switch, because I don't think he's gonna stay in. Then again, Extra Sensory is within range of killing. It is. So let me think, let me think, if I Overheat and he goes out to Dragonite, and we kill the Dragonite, who would he go out to then next? It would have to be Ambipom. It would have to be Ambipom. Because Rosary can't touch me. Hit him on top. Uh, he might not want to risk a will o wisp because I don't think he knows that I'm Scarf just yet. I feel like the safest play is Overheat. If I wanted to predict, I could swap out. But if I do Volt Switch, who do I go out to? If I Volt Switched, I would have to go out to Titania or Gardevoir. Which is risky because then he outspeeds and he can sludge bomb and completely obliterate our life. So, I think the safest play as of right now is clicking overheat. If he stays in, he withdrew. Oh, he's gonna go out to Dragonite! I knew it. I knew it. I knew it! I, kn I should have clicked Volt Switch! I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, it was the safer play. It was the safer play to do that and get damage off on anybody. Even if he were to stay in, that was safer than swapping out or doing anything else. So, he has to go out to Ambipom now. He would have to. Because his Rosary can't touch me. His Scizor can't touch me. The hit on top, I guess. I mean, the hit on top could eat up a hit and go for a close combat. If he really wanted to. I don't know, it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see. I'm just shocked we haven't seen the Ambipom yet at all. To be 100% honest, with as much as I heard that this Ambipom was a crutch, 
Nexus was telling me that Luke used the Amber Palm like crazy, kept switching in and out, in and out, in and out to get fake outs off, to whittle down his mons. We haven't seen Amber Palm once yet. I feel like Amber Palm is the only thing he can go out to. I don't know. I just said hit him on top as well, so. I mean, at minus two, his Rose Raid, if it is Assault Vest, it can live in Overheat perfectly fine. And he could kill me off with Extra Sensory. Bro Fist, the Amber Palm. Okay, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try something here. I feel like he's gonna fake out. I feel like he's going to fake out. So I'm gonna go out to Blue Note. I'm gonna go out to Blue Note. Because he has no reason to go for Low Kick or Drain Punch right now. He has no reason to. I'm gonna go out to Blue Note. And if he fake outs, we're gonna get the steadfast boost and we outspeed. We could just click close combat at that point. We don't even have to. Please go for fake out. Knock off! Oh god damn it! I didn't even think of that. So that's no fake out, and now I'm within now he outspeeds. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it! I mean, it's it's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. Now he knows we're not justified, though, which is kind of sort of scary. Mm, my plan backfired. Oh, why didn't you just be predictable, Luke, and go for fake out? God damn it! Why? I, I, I. <sighs> okay, let me look. 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 Because I'm pretty sure he knows that he outspeeds me now. I'm pretty sure he knows that he outspeeds me. E-speed doesn't do enough. <sighs> Fuck! Okay, I had to go out. I'm gonna go out to our wheezing James. Because he's either gonna low kick, U-turn, or double hit. I'm gonna go out to our wheezing. I'm gonna go out to our wheezing. I ch oh, he withdrew. Is he really that afraid of Lucario? Oh, well, fuck it. This is good for me, too. Because, again, I can just safely click Will-O-Wisp at this point, and we're good to go. We're good to go. I could have got a free close combat off on him. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Mmm, why couldn't that have worked? Why couldn't that have worked? <sighs> but, again, I'm, I'm safe to click Will-O-Wisp. His last mods are Scizor, Hitmontop, Roserade, and Ambipom. Three of the four are... Um, whatchamacallit? Physical attackers. So I'm free to Will-O-Wisp anything on his team. And even if he wants to go out to Bud, I, I, I'm happy to burn that. I'm really happy to burn that. I could have just clicked Flamethrower. I haven't attacked this thing once. I haven't attacked this thing once. But still, this is extra damage, which I'm happy about. I'm very, very happy about. Now the question is, what is he going to do? We would die to an extra sensory at this point. We would die to an extra sensory. And I don't think he would click Leaf Storm predicting Crocodile. Or Giga Drain. He revealed Giga Drain. I don't think he would click Giga Drain predicting Crocodile. I think he would go for Extra Sensory. Because we swapped out to Rotom so many times and Extra Sensory kills at this point. So, if he does go for Extra Sensory, I could go out to Crook. And we outspeed Crook. I mean, we outspeed Roserade. Problem is, I don't think we can one shot Roserade. Like, I don't think a knockoff. Let me see here, let me see here. If he is calm natured with Assault Vest against Liability, how much is an EQ doing? Oh! Earthquake kills! Earthquake kills! Earthquake kills! Um, I'm just gonna go out to Rotom. If he goes for extra sensory, it's gonna kill Rotom, which is fine at this point. Cause I think we have other things to handle the Scizor anyways. I just wanna lose Crook just yet. I'm gonna go out to Crook. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna play risky. I'm gonna go out to Crook. I don't think he's gonna Giga Drain. I don't think he's gonna Giga Drain. I think he's gonna extra sensory or sludge bomb predicting the Guard of War. I don't think he's gonna Giga Drain, because Rotom is too much of a presence there. plays aren't smart. Fuck! You know what? It's fine. 
it is 100% fine because now that gives us a free switch into Rotom. I was playing risky and we lost our hardest hitter, but that's fine. That's fine. I deserve that. I deserve that. I'm gonna overheat. I'm gonna overheat. I have no reason not to. If you want to stay in, this bitch is dying. If you want to swap out, somebody else is dying. I could have had the safe switch into a Rotom. Giga Drain would not have killed. Giga Drain would not have killed. And then we'd be in the exact same position now, and I still have my Crook. I did not think he would make the pro play and predict the Giga Drain or predict Crook. I thought for sure. Well, but then again, thinking back on it, then again, thinking back on it. I guess it was too obvious because Rotom is too much of a win check for us against his team. We have to keep Rotom around for the Scizor. So then again, maybe knowing that Extra Sensory would kill, he wouldn't do that. So that sucks. That, that does suck. It really does suck, but it's whatever. We'll just have to roll with the punches. And this should do an intense amount of damage. Mmm, spicy. Spicy. Okay, I think uh, at minus two, we should be good to stay in and go for it again. Because he's sitting at about 40%. So at minus two special attack, he doesn't get any recovery. He doesn't get any recovery. So let's see. Oh, it does not do enough. It does not do enough in close combat kills. It doesn't do enough in close combat kills. This just gives him a free chance to close combat all he wants. I mean, he could just hard switch right now out to Roserade. Predicting the wheezing. Roserade is a problem. It is a problem. If he hard switches into Roserade, the only thing that can stop it is Rotom. And Rotom is the only thing stopping the Roserade right now. This is very, very scary. I have to go out to Weezing. It's the safer play. It is the safer play. If he goes into Roserade, then I have to go out to Gardevoir. I think me making that play with Crook. I should have thought about it for just a little bit longer. Fake out. Why didn't I not? Okay, fake out. Fake out! Okay, so I'm not going to Will-O-Wisp right now. I'm not going to Will-O-Wisp right now because that's just too obvious. I'm just going to click Flamethrower. Because I think it will do more. I think it will do more to Roserade than a Sludge Bomb would. Because I'm pretty sure poison resists itself. <clears throat> but he can't do anything to us. That's the thing. Yeah, flamethrower does more than sludge bomb does. I'm gonna click flamethrower. I don't think he's gonna stay in. Yeah, he was true. He has to go out to the Roserade. And we can tell right now if it's assault vested or not. Oh, it's natural cure! I forgot about that. Damn it. That's definitely Assault Vested. That's definitely 100% Assault Vested. That's definitely Assault Vested. Okay, so we're not going to live in Extra Sensory. We're not going to live... Actually, we can live in Extra Sensory. We can live in Extra Sensory. I know it's not Assault Vested unless we got the most minimum of min damage. Because Flamethrower should have done about 30%. And that didn't look like 30% to me. But I can live an extra sensory. I can live one. I could go for another flamethrower so that I can bring Lucario in and E speed kill this thing. Because if we do another 20% like we did just now, Lucario comes in and E speed does over half. I think at this point I have to risk the extra sensory because I gotta keep Rotom around. I'm gonna click flamethrower. Come on, Weezing. Weezin can take one. There you go. There you go, buddy. There you go. Or I could have just pain split. 
If I knew that I was gonna live another one, I should have just pain split it. Ah! That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Um, it sucks because now our best wall for the rest of his team is gone. But I'm gonna click flamethrower again. I don't think he's gonna swap. He gig it. What? Oh, it kills. Wow. Oh, it's a crit. Would Giga Drain have killed if it wasn't for the crit? Would Giga Drain have killed? Let's see. Would Giga Drain have killed? Uh, yeah, I think it would have. Never mind. Crit didn't matter. Okay, at this point, I have to go out to Rotom. I have to go out to Rotom and click Overheat. I have to go out to Rotom and click Overheat because if he stays in, it's dead. If he swaps out, it's killing somebody. Because the Hitmon top down, it's gone. That's the only thing I can do. I have to click overheat. And from this range, even assault vested overheat kills. Overheat kills even from this range. So we're good. 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 So he withdrew. He knows he has to keep this thing alive. Until I mega evolve my Gardevoir, this thing is still a threat. So I think he's just gonna sack off his hip on top here, which is perfect for me because that lets Lucario come in and do whatever he wants to do. So down goes the hip on top. Down goes the hit on top. So that is another Mon down and out. I think he has to go out to the Ample Palm now again. He has to go out to the Ample Palm now again, which I am not risking anything when it comes to knockoff. It's just, who do I go out to? I'd have to go out to Cindy if he wants to load up a knockoff. Because does Ample Palm get like bullet seed? Does he? I think he gets seed bomb. I think he gets seed bomb. But would Luke run Seed Bomb on his Amber Palm? Amber Palm gets Solar Beam, it gets Grass Knot. It does get Seed Bomb. <laughs> Why? 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 Why, 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 why? I mean, if I go out to Gastron, I have a chance to live. I do have a chance to live. How much... How much would we do if... How much would we do if... Even at minus two, we can still do like... 50% to this thing. And then Lucario can again come in and clean up. Just what are the chances of him going for a fake out in an attempt to kill? Does fake out kill? Fake out does kill. Fake out does kill. Fake out does kill. Do I go out to Cindy or do I go out to Blue Note? I want to go out to Blue Note. I feel like it's just safer. If he goes for a knockoff again, that's fine. It's just if he has low kick, then I'm just get blown away. Cindy or Blue Note? Cindy or Blue Note? Cindy or Blue Note? I feel like Cindy's safer. I feel like Cindy's safer. I'm gonna go out to Cindy. If he hard switches to Rose Raid, then we're just you're screwed. But please don't tell me you're gonna fake out this time. Please tell me you're gonna knock off. This is why I say I'm not the world's greatest Wi-Fi battler. Right here. This is the reason. Right here. This this right here. This is why I say these things. Cause it's just simple mistakes like that that I always just If I would have gone out to the car right now, I would have gotten the justified boost. Not justified, um whatchamacallit. I'm gonna scald. That's all I can do. Now he goes for knockoff. That's fine. We still take the Rocky Helmet damage. And if we can burn this thing, that's even better. What are the chances? What are the chances? Oh my god, what are the chances? What are the chances? That's terribly unlucky. I feel really, really bad. I'm going to click recover. Uh, I don't want to click recover. I really want to go out to Gardevoir. 
Because with this thing being burned, what can he do? He can return. No, I can't lose Cindy yet. Oh no, I have I have Rotom still. Hold on, let me think, let me think, let me think. Because there's still the issue of the Scizor in the back that I need to worry about. There's still the issue of the Scizor in the back I need to worry about. As long as the Scizor is around, I need Rotom. As long as the Roserade's around, I need Rotom. I'm gonna click Recover. And if he goes out to Roserade, I have to go out to Blue Note. That's the safest switch then. If he has Drain Punch, that would be a problem. Nah, I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna go for Scald. I'm just gonna kill it. He carries double hit. I could have recovered. God damn it. I just thought he might try and keep it around because of the fact that it's, uh, whatchamacallit. That was a crit. Because of the fact that it has, um, whatchamacallit. Fake out. Just for what it's worth. Ugh, our plan with Lucario didn't work. If that, yo, if I would have done that just now, that would have won us the game. Because at that point, we outspeed, and with the Swords Dance up, we would have killed everything on his team. The Lucario plan would have worked. Why did I not do it? Why did I not do it? Why did I not do it? <sighs> okay, so all that's left is Scizor and Roserade. Rotom can handle both of them, but he needs to go out to Roserade to Giga Drain this and kill it. He needs to go out to Roserade to Giga Drain and kill. He has to. He has to, he has to, he has to. I mean, I guess, if you want to look at it in terms of what's fair, he lost his Azelf without doing anything, I lost my Crook without doing anything. That just sucks! That's not even, like, fair, it's just, we both lost a Mon that didn't do anything. A very important offensive Mon that did nothing <laughs> in the battle, <laughs> ultimately. Ugh. Arrgh. I'm so mad at myself for that play with the Crook. But I mean, that's just up to chance, that's honestly all it is. That's up to chance. It's up to chance. So he has to go out to Roserade and Giga Drain to get a little bit of health back. He has to Giga Drain to get some health back. But if I decide to save Cindy... For whatever reason... I could just go out to Blue Note right now. Because how much does an E-Speed do to Roserade? That's what I want to look up right now. How much is an extreme speed? I think it does half. Let's see here. Let's see here. Giga Drain is only doing 28% max Lucario, so you can definitely take that. E-Speed does 55% max. Just, I'm not sure. Well, I could mm, I have to take the Giga Drain. How much does extra sensory do? Extra sensor even doesn't do that much. Ugh. I'm gonna go out to Blue Note. I'm gonna go out to Blue Note. He's our safest switch. I the only reason I don't want Cindy to die is because I don't want him to get health back. And he would get more health from Cindy than he would from Blue Note. He went for Leaf Storm! Ooh, wow. Ooh, wow. Ooh, wow. Ooh, wow. Oh wow. I would have just Giga Drained if I was him. I don't know who he was predicting me to go out to. Maybe Rotom or Gardevoir? Um, let me see here. Let me see here. At minus two. At minus two. I could honestly click close combat. If he's a calm-natured Roserade, we outspeed. 100%. If he is not a calm-natured Roserade, and he's specially, not specially, um... If he has speed investments, if he has max speed, we tie, because they're both base 90 speed. But I think I'm safe to... I'm 
I'm safe to ice punch. I'm gonna ice punch, because I'm pretty sure we outspeed. He withdrew- What? I want you to know, I thought about going for close combat just now, because close combat does 60 fucking percent. If I could have close combat this goddamn thing, oh my god. That would have been bliss. That would have been absolute bliss. Ah! What? Two freezes! What is life? I'm so, so sorry, Luke. I'm so, 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 I'm so, so sorry. That's not right. That is not right. I know Luke has had a lot of issues with freeze hacks and being unlucky throughout the season. I think when he battled Kristen, he got frozen twice as well. I'm so, so sorry. Freeze hacks is the absolute worst. That's, I'm so, so sorry about that. I feel so bad. I really feel bad. I really, really feel bad. That's not right. That's not right. I feel really, really bad. I feel really, really bad. <sighs> Bullet Punch can kill from this range. Close Combat doesn't. I'm just debating whether or not I should Swords Dance right now. Because if I'm at plus two, I can kill. And Eastby would definitely kill. I'm gonna Swords Dance for what it's worth. He, you can still Mega Evolve while you're frozen? Uh, what? That doesn't make any sense. He didn't go for a bullet punch. But will he thaw out? Oh, I feel so bad. I feel so, so bad. I feel so, so bad. All I have to do is click close combat now. I feel so, so bad. He did go for a bullet punch. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, I feel so bad. That's the absolute worst. So his Scizor didn't get to do anything either. His Dragonite got frozen. And his Azelf got... And his Amber Palm got burned too. That's just... That's so unfortunate. All I have to do is click E-Speed. I feel so bad. That's not right. No one deserves Freeze Hacks. No one deserves Freeze Hacks. But... We did beat Luke. Mm, I feel so bad. <laughs> I feel so bad. I feel so bad. I think that battle definitely would have gone very differently if that hadn't happened, especially because of my misplay with the crook. <sighs> I feel so sad. I feel so sad. Can you guys please go over to Luke's channel on, on his battle and cheer him up? Give him, give him some support, because that absolutely sucks. That absolutely sucks. I'm happy because we won, but I feel bad because that, that was, we misplayed and got lucky with the freeze hacks, that's, hmm, <laughs> anyways, if there are any misplays that you think we might have made besides the obvious crook, let me know in the comment section down below, uh, and of course if you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash that like button down below for us as well, definitely make sure you go check out Luke's channel and his side of the battle, he's almost to 100,000 subscribers, so any and all support would be appreciated. And go give him some, some support because I know he's not feeling too hot right now after that. But with that, I'm going to get up out of here. Thank you all once again for your support. And thank you so much for checking out the video. You know me, it's that 182. Holla!